What's up, peeps? My name's here. Today I have a rebuildable all-in-one device from Mech Life, the Rattel AIO Rebuildable. Remember the original? It was tall. It was tall. It made pretty good, but it was tall. They made like a standard size version, and I think this one is much better than the original. So, let's not waste any time. Let's dive down. Let me show you guys the ins and outs of this. We'll come back. We'll vape on it, and then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Rattel. XS by MechLife. And here's the packaging of the Rattel XS Rebuildable AIO by MechLife comes in. Inside the packaging, you get a user manual, a lanyard, cotton, and some coils, micro USB charging cable, a little screwdriver here, flathead, a couple of O-rings, a couple of post screws, and this little tool to help you with installing the tank. And here is the Rattel XS AIO Rebuildable. So we start off from the top, our lanyard holder, our fill port, our drip tip, fire button, display, micro USB charge port right there on the bottom. It does say Rattel. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Rattel XS Rebuildable AIO 80 Watt. Then we have our panels, the back side. It's going to say Rattel Excess. You're going to have this like weird, like a carbon fiber thingy going on and resin. They're going to have all different colors. You could get it with this look on both sides, which is the one I'll show you guys now. This is another version that they make. Would have been nice if the resin was on both sides for this version. But I guess the reason why they did that is because this panel is not removable. Only the front panel is. Pop open the door. Do have our magnet. You have a window here. That's going to be the bottom one's going to be obviously for the airflow. And this slit going up is going to be so you can get an indication of how much liquid you have inside there. We have our plus and minus buttons there for our chipset. 18650 battery. All right, positive down, negative up. Our little tank holds 5.5 mLs of V liquid. And a simple slide out like that. That's the way you get it out. Now, the tool that they give you is if you have an issue trying to put this in, if it's hard for you to put in or whatever, one thing I do is I keep it a little bit on an angle and it goes in very easy. The little tank section here, right, it's got this uh, dark frosted look. You can still see inside there. Our drip tip is a 510 drip tip. All right, our top fill, simple unscrew here, just like that. That's you would fill from. On the bottom here, we do have our airflow controller, so you could fine tune it down to an MTL vape or have it fully open. Now, if we sit and turn this, all right, lots of threading on this one here. There we go, it's gonna finally come out. There's your chimney section. This is removable, the chimney section. And we have a single coil build deck. It's the same build deck that we saw in the original Rattel from MechLife. All right, so same build deck. You have a center airflow and you have bottom airflow on here. So obviously if you're gonna do MTL, you're gonna have that center airflow closed off and then start adjusting your airflow from the outside for your MTL vape. Or if you wanna fully open, yeah, might as well open both of them up. It is using flathead screws. Our cotton falls right inside here. Now, they also make a dual coil build deck for this, which is a separate purchase. And there it is, the dual coil build deck. I do have 2.5 millimeter round wire. It's a Canthal 24 gauge. I think it's about six wraps, if I'm not mistaken. Six or seven wraps, but anyway, there you go. Dual coil build deck. And if you choose to customize your mod, they also sell drip tips that'll match your panels. And another feature for this is if you unscrew this base, just like that, we end up having a 510. All right. So yeah, do not put this on a mech mod. Yeah, this is for a regulated. Obviously you're going to put it in there, put your coil in and pulse it. So I'm going to use one of the coils that they provided, a little fuse Clapton, little mini Clapton here to 2.5 millimeter. Got the post screws fully open. And then you just take that and just slip it right in, just like that and like that. There you go. This is like one of the easiest build decks to build on. So I want to have it to, oh, there we go. 
So I want to have it to be right over that airflow. So right about there. So I'll just put my fingers there like that. Grab my screwdriver and just tighten them down. After I've tightened it down, I'm going to grab a little coiling rod and just adjust that coil. Pull it out. And just make sure it's right in place. Next thing I'm going to do is grab my wire cutters. Get behind there and start snipping those leads. Grab that cotton now, pass that right through there. Make sure it's not over tight. Oh, that just feels just right. All right, got that in. Oh, that didn't even sound good. I mentioned Just Right's name. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut it right about there, there and there. Grab the cotton. No combing out on this one here. It doesn't really need comb out. You got big openings here for your cotton. I think that's just fine. And there you go, that's the way your cotton should look inside there. I actually, see where this one is where it's got a little bit of opening on the bottom? That's what I wanna do that also on this side, but this is the way it should look, the way it is on this side. Now we will wick the dual coil. All right, get that first piece of cotton in and the second piece. I'm gonna cut that cotton down, cut it right about there. Probably gonna do a couple of more adjustments, obviously. Just wanna get that out of the way. And the way we wanna set this up is we want the cotton to be sitting right inside here where the threading is not all the way down or else it's not going to wick efficient we want to just sit right inside here you know we're going to give it a little just a little bit of a comb out it is dual coil because some parts are thicker one side is thicker than the other there we go and uh you know you know who you are i'm going to cut cut that cotton down right about there do the same thing on this side Take a little bit of this side off on here and a little bit off of that. Oh, that's right. That I just did a little angle cuts on the sides. Now I'm just going to put some liquid on there. It'll be a little bit simpler for me to mold everything into place. So I'll get that nice and saturated. And for the cur curious ones out there, that's what I'm vaping on for the dual coil. So now that we got that all set, this is where I'll take that kind and measure it out and make sure it's not too long if i think it's too long i'll just even trim it a little bit more now that i got everything molded right where i want it I'll get it in there make sure we catch the threading which we did all right this is going to be like a little bit of a pain in the ass now getting this off of here because i just screwed it on there but i'll show you guys a little trick what i'm going to do here is that there we go Make sure it's screwed down. Now give it a little snap. One more snap. And there we go. Now it should unscrew off of there. I will screw down that bottom base. So this way we could get this all together perfectly. There we go. All set. Airflow controller works nice. Get that in. Give it a little push. Now we're gonna fill it up. Like we said, it holds 5.5 mLs of e-liquid. All right, got the build inside there. Dual coil, battery, 0.31 resistance. All right, our up and down buttons. Does it in one watt increments. Keep it pressed down, goes a little faster, goes up to 80 watts, and you have no round robin feature with this device. Our display says P for power, our wattage battery indicator, resistance, and voltage, obviously, when I press the fire button. Now, if I click the fire button three times, one, two, three, you'll see the P flash. Now I could scroll through there and do voltage mode, bypass, temperature control mode. You can see S is for stainless steel, nickel, titanium, and then back to power. And I want to just show you guys something here. I press the fire button. Now I want to change the, the temperature. It just takes forever. This needs, for people that do temperature control, obviously, this is like too slow. You'd be waiting forever and waiting and waiting. And obviously the power of the device on and off, it's five clicks of the fire button. One, two, three, four, five. Power off. One, two, three, four, five. Mech chip. And power on. All right, guys, and that was the Rattel XS Rebuildable AIO by Mech Life.
Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on him. And I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it. The up close. Rattel XS. MechLife. Mike. Your thoughts. We will start off with cons. First con's going to have to be. Door rattle. Oh god, I can't stand door rattle. That's definitely gonna be a con. My second con, subjective, is gonna have to be obviously like with the resin one, you have resin in the front and that on the back, but on this one here you have matching front and back. So yeah, I kind of would have liked to have seen like the original to be both panels the same. You know what I'm saying? So for me that's gonna have to be a con. And for my final con. It should have been Type-C charging in my opinion, but it is a replaceable battery, so charge it externally. Alright, so, Mike, how does it vape? That's what we all want to know. Dual coil inside here. 0.31 resistance, 60 watts. There you go, so you guys could... So you don't think I'm lying? Let's vape it. Airflow is fully open. And you're getting uh, that restrictive direct lung hit. I love this, the way this vapes. Yeah, I'm letting the cat out of the bag. It's got a beautiful vape in direct lung mode. I love this thing. The wicking I did, beautiful. 60 watts dual coil round wire build like you guys saw in the up and close. Nice warm vape. But Mike, how about single coil mode? Okay, there we go. We have the other one here. Single coil mode, a coil they provided. 0.83 resistance, 19 watts. We're going to do an MTL. I got the airflow. One hole, but that hole cut in half. So it's like half of one hole open on here. And there's a reason why. Even with that, it's still a loose vape. So if you're into that loose mouth-to-lung vape, you're going to enjoy this. If you like a tight mouth-to-lung vape, mm, I don't consider this really a mouth-to-lung device, in my opinion. This is more of a rebuildable direct lung device. Let's do direct lung mode in single coil. So I swapped out. I put it on the, one of these drip tips. 30 watts. Single coil. Let's vape it. Single coil mode, beautiful. And obviously we didn't do a size comparison. I got the legend next to it so you got a basic idea. There you go. Now let's do some pros on this. Rebuildable AIO, I love it. Pro, they vape great. Pro, 5.5 mLs of V-liquid, pro. Single coil build deck, that's the way it comes. It vapes awesome with a single coil. 30 watts, one of the coils that they provided, beautiful, pro. Obviously everything you get, you get cotton, you get two coils in there, it's gonna be a big pro. The tank is well built, I like the tank on here, it's gonna have to be a pro. The resin is nice on here, but like I said, it would have been nice both colors. 18650. Definitely a pro. Another pro is going to have to be, obviously, you could get a dual coil build deck for this, which is a big pro. They did a good job with this, actually. There's a couple of, like, nitpicks I have. Like, this is like, God, I wish it didn't do that. But the vape I get off this is awesome. Dual coil mode, beautiful. One more vape. So, Mike, who's this going to cater to? The MTL Vapor that likes a very loose mouth to lung. Or if you like to tinker and you want direct lung little all-in-one devices, that's who this is going to cater to. Pretty good job. I really like the build decks on here. The dual coil one obviously is an old school build deck. Single coil is going to be easier. Easier for someone that wants to transition. Maybe to do their own builds, I recommend the single coil. You're going to get a great vape at a lower wattage. Price on these, not sure. Google search it. 
All right, do a Google search, go on MechLife's website, see what they're selling it for. That's it, I think I pretty much covered everything in this video. In the description below, no links to these. Not allowed, it's a YouTube policy. Just my links and advocacy links down below, as always. That's it, I'm done. Thank you, and remember, keep on vaping.